They say if your mom and dad have stable jobs and you have a nice house with a car that everything should be fine. And all these problems you feel in your head to be so monumental are so small. Approximately 10 to 20% of Canadians are affected by some form of mental illness or disorder during their youth. 3.2 million teenagers are at risk for developing depression, yet only 1 out of 5 who need help receive it. Mental illness will indirectly affect all Canadians through family and friends, yet most of those diagnosed experience stigmas from fear and misunderstanding. My whole life I've been called spoiled, but I feel deprived. Spoiled by these luxuries, but deprived of hope. I had no hope, no dreams, no aspirations. I lived in a full house, but had no one to talk to because no one would understand what I was going through. No one could. After all, I'm just another middle-class teenager with mediocre grades living in the suburbs. Average with nothing original to give to the world. My biggest fear is for when the lunch bell rings because it only confirms what I already know. When you have to eat your lunch alone, you know you've hit the bottom. I could go sit with some of my old friends, but why would they want to sit with me? What makes me interesting? What makes me special? Almost every day for the past month, I've been skipping classes. My parents drop me off at the school every morning, but most of the time I sit outside alone. It gets cold in the winter. What's up? You doing all right, man? Seem a little down. Yeah, I've been uh, going through a pretty hard time recently. Really? Yeah. So. This is class I've been attending, man. Maybe you should come by. Yeah, where is it? Uh, 3010, actually. 3010? Yeah, man. Yeah, maybe I'll come by. All right, man. I'll see you. Thanks a lot. No problem. Here at Bill Crothers, students are doing their part to change the view on mental health. Creating a supportive environment that accepts all students is something very important to this school. By creating this environment, students who are experiencing mental health illnesses are given the opportunity to become more aware of treatment options and as well solutions to deal with their illnesses. Yeah, so I've known Jesse for a couple months now and it's quite amazing to see the change in him. Uh, before he used to be a depressed young guy, uh, not hanging out with anybody. And now it's great to see him really hanging around the school and getting to know people. So it's nice to see that change. <laughs> 